Hello everyone. Welcome back. In this session, I am going to discuss two important concepts. And these concepts will help you to understand the shell scripting. So after these concepts, we will begin with the shell scripting. The two concepts as I have mentioned on the screen, on the types of different files, those are available in Linux or Unix based systems. How do we recognize them? And the types of file path. So if we want to find out a particular file, what is the meaning of path? And what are the different types of paths? we can pass in a command right so when we write this shell script we need to give the path and there are different ways to give it so first let's discuss the types of file when we run ls command in ls command when we pass hyphen l option i have discussed that in the previous session so when you run ls like this and you type hyphen L and you press enter then it displays some of the information so in that information if the very first character is hyphen or minus or if the very first character is let's say D I told you this very first character in the display or output of ls minus L if it is hyphen it reflect a regular file normal user file regular file which contains the normal data what is the meaning of normal data like i want to create a file and i want to store some data maybe in terms of text or in terms of numbers or in terms of let's say images or in terms of video but it is a data only so such kind of files will be considered in regular category so the files you consider like you can say you have txt files you have doc files you have pdf files you have image files you have videos also etc so these files contains the data and that is the prime purpose and it is the most common category which we use to preserve the data inside the system. The next category which I am saying ls minus l if it is displaying d as a very first character it reflects the directory. So there are directory files. A directory we have discussed we have created also mkdir is one of the command to create the directory. Directory is also a file but directory does not store the similar kind of data as compared to a regular file directory stores the record or data about other files and directories so in that way it is different from the regular file right there are other files also so if the very first uh, character in ls minus l if coming let's say l a small l then we consider there is a next category that is link or symbolic link kind of file link like in windows if we consider we consider links as a shortcut so when we install a software like any game generally on desktop that software asks whether you want to create a link if you click yes then on desktop a link or as a shortcut will be created and if you click on that link you can access that particular software exe so that shortcut contains the address of the original file that is the role of the soft links then there are possibility that you will see the very first character as a small c or a small b so there are categories of files those we consider as device files and there are two types of device files character devices and block devices so c represent your file is a character device file and B represent the block device.
you consider character device like if you are having a typewriter okay character devices are capable to handle character by character the data can be recognized character by character like the typewriter when we type at a very fast rate also then also at a single point in time we can type only one key so typewriter we can consider as a character device like our keyboard also character device but if you consider let's say laser printer it may print a block of data in a single go so such kind of devices which can deal more than a character in a single go we consider such kind of devices as block devices okay and system recognize both category of devices as file only now in ls minus l there is more possibility you may get the very first character as p or s so if the very first character is displaying as p we consider the file as pipe file or you can say named pipe we will discuss the role of pipe when we discuss inter process communication and s reflects the socket so these are the different types of files now quickly look look all these files one by one so regular file as i have already told you most commonly used file in linux it contains text images videos music or any other type in ls minus l the regular file the first character displays as minus sign or hyphen can contain such kind of things directories file that contain the other files or directories represented by a folder icon can be used to navigate so we can use command to jump into the file or you can come out from the directory right so we can go inside the directory or come out that is there the very first character d you will get in ls minus l as a very first character in the output symbolic link the very first character i told you l these are you can say the point to other files or directory represented by a shortcut icon and can be used to create ls or shortcut to another file as i have already told you next category of files is device files so i told you there are two types of device files character devices and block devices i have given you example character devices like your keyboard or typewriter and block devices like the laser printer okay so there are other devices also such as hard disk drive if hard disk handles the data in block by block then we consider hard disk as a block device okay usb is also there network interface is also there so there are different types of devices your linux or unix system recognize every device as a file in two category only character or block then there are pipe files and socket files so pipe files and socket files used for inter process communication ipc the meaning is when there is multiple processes let's say p1 is running and there is p2 is also running we need to establish a channel or some mean so that the information can be transferred from one process to another so there are two ways generally we use one we consider as pipe or named pipe so we can write named pipe named pipe is having nature from one end one process can write and from another end of this file another process can read the data so in that way the communication can be established but in case these processes p1 and p2 are running on different computers so let's say there are different computers and there are processes running and we want to establish the communication let's say it is a laptop and one process is running on this machine and maybe another process is running on another machine let's say computer or laptop whatever you consider and if you want to establish the communication okay so if you want to establish the communication then we can use socket so when it comes to like 
here is one process p1 is running on this machine and p2 is running on this machine and if we want to establish the communication we should use socket we can program sockets in c c++ or python and they help us to connect or establish communication between the processes over internet right so pipe we use within the computer when two processes are residing on same machine and want to interact or communicate we use pipe and socket we use when there is an internet or you can say network is involved right now let's quickly discuss uh, the, the there are different types of paths so when we try to locate a file in a machine we follow a path okay so let's say if i want to run ls command on a path i can run ls and then i can mention a path so let's say root there is home and inside home there is a student right so when i run it this is actually the path but there are two ways in which we can define this particular path so one we consider as the absolute path and another we consider as the relative path so what is an absolute path absolute path is start with root like i have written here it is started with root and all the directories those are coming in between till the actual file we write everything so that we consider as absolute path there's nothing missing in between from the root till the actual file everything we mentioned as a hierarchical way now in relative path relative path we write in terms of the present directory so relative as the name suggest they are relative in nature but they are they are relative with respect of the present directory so let's say i told you in the previous session also this double dot symbol represent the parent directory and in linux if i write single dot single dot represent the current directory so i write here single dot means current or present directory and double dot means parent directory right so but these paths are relative in nature so if i write dot slash let's say a dot out that means a dot out is a file and i write this file with respect of the present working directory so if my present working directory is this let's say home student that means this dot is representing this particular thing right so by writing by typing this dot i want to write slash home slash student but in case if i change my present location by typing cd command and my current location let's say root home in that case this dot will represent this thing only so this dot changing its meaning with respect of the present working similarly if i write dot dot and let's say i write cd dot dot cd dot dot means i want to go to the parent directory so if i am in the student the parent directory of a student is home so this will lead me to the home but if i write cd dot dot space dot dot that means I want to jump onto the parent of the parent. So this is the parent of my present working directory and I want to go to the parent of this. So if my present working directory is let's say student, the parent of this is home and the parent of home is root. So this command will lead me to the root directory. So I will go to this place. Okay, I'll jump onto the root, right? So let's see it. I'll demonstrate it and then quickly close this. Okay, so let's look at here. I hope it is visible. If I check my present working directory now, I'm working in my root home and student, right? So if I type ls minus l, I show a number of commands and I was talking about the very first character that is hyphen, that means regular file d means directory and i have created one pipe also named as my fifo so it is displaying as p right so p means 
pipe file or named pipe later on you will see uh, the use of pipe also but in this lecture i am not discussing i can also create a link which we consider a symbolic link so for creation of link you can use ln command ln command as the description says that make links between files okay and if you check the option if you want to create symbolic link there is an option given as s so symbolic link means kind of shortcut okay so if i there is no link as such in this directory as of now if i want to create i will use ln hyphen s and let's say my file name is file only so i'm having file okay let me check first contain of the file so that later on i can demonstrate the file content is this which i have created in the previous session okay let me clear the screen so the file content is this and i am creating link on this file so i am creating with option s file and the link name let's say link 1 okay so if i create it and if i check ls hyphen l on link 1 you can check the very first character here is a small l that means it is a link so link is also a type of file and here you can see the name is displaying like this so this link one is linking the original file named as file so if you want to check the content of link one it will display the same content of the original file right now pipe and sockets if you want to check the sockets then the very first character will display as so if i go and uh, run this command on let's say so i'll elaborate later on what i try to write is i'm just looking for the uh, the sockets in the system so i can check if a file is socket the very first character will be s in ls minus l so if i run it you can check now you can check there are files available with so this sock is a socket file private is a socket file available somewhere in the system but i just wanted to demonstrate you the very first character is s so ls minus l will help us to identify the file type okay so we have discussed the file type regular file directory file link file device file there are two types of devices character and block pipes and socket and we have also discussed the relative path and absolute path right so what is relative and what is absolute just quickly see it so if i check my present working directory it is this if i jump onto my dir1 let's say or dir2 my present working directory is this if i want to go to directly in home so i can write cd dot dot means parent of the parent parent of the parent so parent of the parent is home the parent of the dir2 is a student and the parent of the student is home so if i type this and if i check my present working directory i am in home so this dot dot slash dot dot is a relative path right you need to understand these path this will help us to write effective and efficient shell scripting so i'm closing this lecture see you in the next class soon and we will start with the shell scripting thank you